Hey friends, so today is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna share with you not just what I eat, but also what my daughter, Baby J, eats. And of course, y'all know she's a foodie like her mommy, so this is gonna be fun. Also, this video is sponsored by Thrive Market, and I have a really extra special discount code just for y'all, so keep watching. Mm, that's my last sip. This is my new favorite drink, y'all. It is anti-inflammatory, it is creamy, it is delicious, and I swear it helped to remove the pain in, I had an injured shoulder right here, and I swear this is taking it away. Y'all wanna sip? Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a sip. I'm gonna let you know what it is, I'm gonna let you know how to make it, but first, let's get into what we had for breakfast. My daughter, Baby J, eats breakfast at school every morning, but she likes it when I make a smoothie that she can enjoy while we're getting ready for the day. Into the smoothies, I always add banana, frozen blueberries, spinach, flaxseed, soy milk, and a little bit of protein powder. For school today, I am going the extra mile and I'm making her some quick oat pancakes. This recipe can be made in one blender, so it's really easy to make. Blend oats with soy milk, vegan yogurt. Today I'm not doing the yogurt, just the soy milk. Baking soda and spices, and then you fry them until they are fluffy. They look just like regular wheat pancakes, but they're loaded with protein and fiber, and Baby J loves them. I top them with blueberries for a little extra special treat for her. Baby J is the only child in her class who brings her own meals to school. Everyone else eats the school lunch, but because we're vegan, it's important that I send her with her food, of course. But even if we were omnivores, I would do the same thing. Most of the food, even the fruit and veggies, has added sugar. That's just how it is in American schools, especially public schools. Plus, there is a heavy reliance on highly refined wheat products. Gone are the days when the lunch lady was making all the food from scratch. Modern public schools rely on packaged, processed food for all of the meals, including snacks. As I mentioned, I pack Baby J's lunch in the morning as well. Today I packed her a chickpea carrot tuna sandwich or carrot tuna melt really, because I added some vegan cheese. And I'm gonna have the same thing for my lunch today as well. She only eats carrots when they are shredded, so here we are. To make it, I shredded carrots in the food processor and then into that same food processor add rinsed chickpeas, vegan mayo, mustard, celery seeds, dull seaweed, and ume plum vinegar, which is the secret ingredient to make it taste a lot like the sea. Pulse that up and you're done with that. Now to make the melt, I melt vegan cheese on bread first so that it melts perfectly, okay? And then you top it with the carrot chickpea tuna. I'm, it is super tasty and filling, especially when I serve it on Ezekiel bread. This is one of my favorite lunches because it's a sandwich, but it's pretty healthy. It's super delicious and it's kind of comforting. It's like, it's like junk food, but it's not junk. It's so important to drink a ton of water throughout the day. So before I have an Olipop or my special warm drink, which I'm gonna share with you in a second, I make myself drink a tall glass of water first. If you've kept watching until this point, you deserve to know what I was drinking at the beginning of the video, what I was raving over. It's a turmeric latte. I'm obsessed. They're also known as golden milk. This hot, creamy, delicious beverage is made with soy or oat milk or any non-dairy milk, dried turmeric, fresh ginger, black pepper, cinnamon, and a dash of cayenne. I also like to do a little bit of cardamom in there sometimes. Quick tip, freeze your ginger because it makes it so much easier to grate into turmeric lattes and teas. And I sweeten it with just a quarter or a half teaspoon of agave, not very much to sweeten. I drink it mostly in the evenings, uh, but sometimes in the middle of the day as well. It's just so tasty. Turmeric and ginger are known for their powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. And inflammation is the root of most disease. So diets high in anti-inflammatory foods have been linked to lower risk of everything from cancer to diabetes. According to Dr. Greger of nutritionfacts.org, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric a day should keep the doctor away. If y'all know me, you know how much I love Thrive Market and I'm so excited to be partnering with them once again. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store. I love it because as a busy mom and busy business owner, I can get high quality, plant-based, organic, sustainable products 
delivered straight to my door for less. Thrive Market will even price match if you find the same product for less, so you always know you're in good hands. The yearly membership is $60, which is $5 a month, and it will easily pay for itself in savings. And if it doesn't, don't worry, Thrive Market will credit you back the difference. For even more savings, use my link down below. It's thrivemarket.com slash sweet potato soul. You will save 30% off your first Thrive Market order. Plus you'll get a free gift with a value of up to $60. I ordered my Thrive Market order and I got that free gift and let's see what it is. Oh, this is Thrive Market's cookbook, quinoa pancakes. Ooh, I gotta try that. Ooh, so this is one of the free gifts. I ordered this and I'm excited to dive in. So another thing I love about Thrive Market is that all of their packaging is carbon neutral and their warehouses are 100% waste free and all the packaging comes from 100% recycled materials. I love all my goodies. I'm about to put these in the pantry, but before I do, please do not forget to tap the link down below. It is thrivemarket.com slash sweet potato soul to get your 30% off your first order of Thrive Market plus a free gift. You get to choose the gift. It's a, a, a wide variety of different options, um, but it will be up to $60 of value. And if you're like me, you'll get a bundle, which is the cookbook and the almond butter and the facility too. So you, you do you boo and let me know what you order. Leave a little comment in the comment section below. For an after school snack, I like to give Baby J a variety of options. She always goes for the fresh fruit. Um, I'm also gonna give her some of the hippies, which we love. Those are the like cheese puffs that I got my Thrive Market order. And I'm also going to offer her some almonds. She and I both love nuts. I eat nuts all day. Whenever I want a quick snack, I go to the pantry, I grab a handful of nuts and that's it. Baby J loves noodles, and because I got some in my Thrive Market order today, I decided to make creamy almond lime noodles with tempeh and lots of veggies. To make this, it's so easy. You're just gonna saute some onions, peppers, any aromatic veggies that you want, along with garlic and ginger. Then to make that tangy almond sauce, you're gonna do almond butter, lime juice, some water to thin it out, soy sauce, and maple syrup, a little bit of sweetness, goes a long way. And then you're just gonna cook your veggies in there. I'm gonna add some red cabbage today, as well as some frozen spinach because I don't have any broccoli, which is my choice vegetable for this. That and the cabbage look so pretty together. But you're just gonna cook it until it's nice and tender, not overcooked, still bright, still beautiful. And then in the end, just toss it with the cooked noodles, et voila. You have the perfect creamy almond lime noodles. So filling and so delicious. All of the recipes in today's video are perfect for meal prep, and I've shared links to all of them down below in the description box. By the end of the day, I feel so nourished and healthy, and when I witness my beautiful, brilliant daughter's energy and growth, I know she is thriving too. Get out of it. Can you say, get out of it. Eating too? Um. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> Speaking of thriving, don't forget to tap that link down below to save 30% off your first order from Thrive Market. If I was going vegan tomorrow or even just starting a healthy eating journey or lifestyle journey, the first thing I would do is I would stock up on healthy, um, sustainable, just good for you, plant-based products. So keep that in mind. Join me here next week because I'm gonna be sharing even more of what I would be doing if I went vegan today in 2024. It is very different than when I went vegan in 2011. It's more dangerous. There's a, there's a lot more mistakes that you can make now, in my opinion. So don't miss that video. I'll see you here next week. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks in advance. See you guys next time. Bye.